y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rocio. Hello. And this is Reese's Rizzles. And for those of you who are tuning in for the very first time, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more curly hair tips. All you have to do is click right here. If you're looking from your computer, but if you're looking from your phone or tablet, all you have to do is scroll up a tad until you see that red subscribe button and click on it and then you're subscribed. All right, so this is gonna be all about hair care tips for the summer, specifically if you have curly hair. If you don't have curly hair, these tips can pretty much go for anyone. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because we have a lot to cover. One of the most important factors to keep in mind when it comes to your hair in the summer is protecting it from the harsh UVA and UVB rays, which can actually damage your hair from the outside, which would be the cuticle of your hair, to the inner structure of your hair, causing it to be weaker and more prone to breakage. The biggest and safest tip that I can give you all is to wear a hat seriously just wear a hat if for some reason you can't fit your hair in a hat braid it put it in a loose bun flat twist it do whatever you have to do just wear a hat now if you decide not to go the hat route you're still gonna need some kind of UV protection and shea butter actually has a small amount of SPF in it which is gonna be enough to give that UV protection that your hair needs and shea butter is easily absorbed into the hair without making it feel greasy but it also coats the hair which will give that added protection what you can do is just melt some unrefined shea butter and apply it onto your hair before exposing it to the Sun if you don't have shea butter lying around don't worry you can make your own UV protection you're gonna take two teaspoons of SPF 20 to 25 and you're gonna dilute that into one cup of water You're gonna mix it up really really well And then you're gonna put that into a small spray bottle and shake it up really well And then you're gonna spray it onto your hair before styling or spray it onto your hair throughout the day as you are exposed to sunlight A lot of y'all have been asking for tips on how to protect your hair when you're going out to the beach or to the pool And I already have a video on that made so I will leave a link in the description box below And right now I'll go ahead and give y'all the the spark notes of that video I guess right before you're getting into the water whether it be the beach or the pool you want to rinse your hair with tap water first like I mentioned in the other video again the link is in the description box below your hair is like a sponge and your hair is gonna want to absorb any kind of liquid that it comes into contact with so it's really important to have your hair swell with regular water before it absorbs any other water that you don't really want like water with chlorine or beach water then you're gonna want to apply some conditioner and I've got two tips on that the first is to just grab any old conditioner that you can find it does not matter if it is silicone free or not as a matter of fact if it has silicone in it it's gonna coat your hair shaft giving that added protection from any other liquid that your hair could potentially absorb the second tip that I have for you all is to chill the conditioner beforehand and that way you're applying cold conditioner onto your hair helping to seal the cuticle so that you're preventing or helping to prevent that nasty water from getting into your hair now some girls like to apply oil to their hair and I get it oil and water don't mix but me personally I just don't like the feeling of wet hair with oil in it it's just a personal preference of mine but it's completely up to you do whatever you want once you're done you can tie it up in a loose bun or braid and notice that I said the word loose the reason why you're tying it up is because you want to prevent your hair from getting tangled in the water and the reason why you're gonna have it loose is because the tighter your protective style is the more prone your hair is to breaking in the middle of the hair shaft and that's really gonna suck so whatever protective style you decide to go with just make sure that it's not tight and of course when you're not in the water that Sun is gonna be beaming down on you so just make sure you wear a hat now after swimming if you know you're not gonna get back in the water anymore and you have access to a shower or just some kind of tap water wash your hair or rinse out your hair immediately if you don't have shampoo on hand or anything like that don't even worry about it just rinse out your hair as much as you can if you are swimming in a pool that has chlorine then it's best to use a shampoo that has EDTA or phytic acid which will help to rid your hair of that chlorine or you can use a more natural approach by using baking soda to break down that chlorine and if you want to see a video on how to use baking soda after swimming then just let me know in a comment below and I can make that video happen for you all you could also do an apple cider vinegar rinse to clarify your hair again that's completely up to you but if you don't have any of these things then you can just use a regular shampoo that is clarifying but also moisturizing and I'll leave a list of some of these products that are similar to this in the description box below now it is so important to know that the Sun actually breaks down the protein that's in your hair so if you're going to be doing a deep conditioning treatment it's really helpful if you use a deep conditioning treatment that has protein in it now you don't want to overdo it with the protein either for me personally since I do a deep conditioning treatment every week I might do a deep conditioner with some protein in it every other week and I know a lot of you all are gonna be asking for specifics so here it goes so let's say today I deep condition with my favorite deep conditioner and then next week 
I will do my DIY protein treatment, which I also have a video on, link in the description box below. And then the week after, I'll do another deep conditioning treatment and then so on and so forth. And this is all depending on how much time you spend in the sun. So I just got back from a vacation where I spent a lot of time in the sun and my hair spent a lot of time in the sun. So this whole method of one week on, one week off is what works best for me. And lastly, what products to use on your hair. Let's go back to a little word we should all know by now, humectants. In the summer months, there are high amounts of moisture and humidity in the air and your hair, your cuticles will open and your hair will want to soak up and absorb that extra moisture from the air. These open cuticles will cause your hair to be frizzy and those cuticles that stay open are gonna cause your hair to be more prone to breaking. A humectant is an ingredient that will attract the moisture from the air into your hair and help your hair hold and lock in that moisture. The most common humectant that you'll find will be glycerin. You might find regular glycerin and you might find vegetable glycerin. Of the two, if you're looking to have a more natural approach, go with the vegetable glycerin because that's made from plant oils only. So make sure that you use a leave-in conditioner or a styler that has a humectant in it that's listed in the top five ingredients on the product because those will be the most active and the most prominent. And one final tip that may or may not be important to some of you all, if you part your hair and you use that same part every single time, when you go out in the sun, change the part or use full strength SPF directly onto the part. Otherwise, the direct sun exposure will cause burning and peeling and that is something I do not want anyone to have to deal with. Just don't forget to wash it out at the end of the day to avoid buildup. That was a lot of information, but I hope that these tips help. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed already for more tips on naturally curly hair. And if you have any other tips that have to do with protecting your hair in the summer, let us know in a comment below because that's how we learn from each other. I love y'all. Un besito. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.